What is freedom? Is freedom working every day, nine to five, just to have a roof over your head? Working so hard for money and possessions, but then you realize years have passed you by? Are you working to live or living to work? Life is short. We only have one life. Are you living it? After living the normal life, I made a choice to sell, donate, and give away 90% of my possessions for freedom. No chains to hold me down. My channel is all about how I built my tiny home on wheels and how I live in it with my dog Charlie. So I can travel and see this beautiful country. Come and join me on my journey. Hey, what's up guys? So, um, as most of you guys know that have been watching my channel, um, my, uh, my van broke down. I was struggling getting it past 35, 45 miles an hour, um, if that. And um, so I nursed it back to the golf course and all that, and I had a couple people look at it. And we come to find out that it was the catalytic converter that was clogged up. And um, so my buddy went ahead, I mean, I got the part and all that stuff, and we decided that we weren't gonna put the whole part on, we were gonna cut out the old catalytic converter and uh, weld it together with the old pipes. So we decided to do that. Um, and if you're having any problems with yours, um, you know, struggling and, and, and you're getting codes and stuff like that on your engine, you know, check engine light and all that stuff, definitely uh, consider this because this is uh, one of the things that uh, was wrong with my van. I think it was something that was building up for a while. Um, I did hear some clanking around at one point in time and it was struggling and stuff like that. And I think the uh, honeycomb thing kind of eventually worked itself loose and then eventually made its way back to the back where the tailpipe comes out of the catalytic converter and it lodged itself in there and got stuck. So, um, but yeah, just, uh, you know, one thing after another with a van. So being that the cat was all clogged up, there was nowhere for the exhaust to go. So um, while I was struggling driving and stuff like that, I took the doghouse off, found out that there was a leak in the manifold gasket. So all the exhaust had nowhere to go, so it kept coming back towards the engine, towards this way, and it looked for any, I guess, any gap or any space that it can kind of escape from and it kind of popped that gasket. Uh, the one that I saw was on the right-hand side, the passenger side of the van, um, but it's a possibility it might've popped the one on the driver's side as well. So that's another part of the project that needs to be done as well as replace those gaskets, and that's coming. So you can see we cut out the old cat and we're gonna use the existing pipes um, that were already on the van just trying to clean it up so he can weld it on there and uh, make it smooth and uh, make it fit. So you can see right here, this is the honeycomb that broke loose and this is the back end of the catalytic converter and it was lodged in there where the uh, exhaust pipe comes out of it. So this is the uh, new part, the catalytic converter, and we're just, uh, trimming it down, cutting it so uh, it'll fit into this spot where we cut out the old one. Like I said, we're just not gonna use the, the rest of the pieces. <laughs> oh shit, it's hot. <laughs>
Yeah, so uh, like my buddy said, it's not the prettiest uh, welding job that he's ever done, but it'll work and um, everything seems to be good. We don't have any leaks in it or anything like that. We tested that. So, uh, but yeah, man, so far so good. We'll see what happens. Knock on wood, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so as of now, I've uh, been driving around for a couple days and everything seems to be okay. Like I said, I still have to do the gaskets. Um, we're going to wait on that maybe next week or something like that. But as of right now, it's driving. I did have my engine light come on, um, so I don't know what's going on with that. But, um, but it seems to be doing okay. It still has the loud ticking, but um, we'll address that as we you know, move forward <laughs> like we always have to do. It's always something, I tell you. It's it's uh, it's one of those things where you fix one part and the part right next to it breaks down. <laughs> it's always something. But uh, but anyway, man, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good happy stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Drive safe.